how to do the animate behind mask or paint behind effect in Adobe After Effects. Now this, like many other things, is not really obvious at first and something that beginners struggle with when they start learning After Effects. And you have to consider two, dif two different things and uh, let's see how this is done. Okay, we've got our logo here in our timeline. So the first thing that you need to do, you have to actually draw a mask. So select your rectangle tool and then draw your mask just like that, right below the graphics so we have more control over the animation. From here, you have to set keyframes for two different values. One, obviously, the mask path. Let's move over to second one, the mask path and the position we want to animate, of course. Then go to the beginning and you might think, okay, I need to select my use my selection tool and then animate this, but wait a second, the mask is not staying in place. Why did it not work? Hmm, maybe it's not the position value, maybe it's the anchor point that I need to animate. So set, set a keyframe for that. And then with the selection tool again, animate that. Oh no, not work, okay? So it's not really obvious at first when you start creating that effect. The right thing to do, let's uncheck the anchor point and then reset the keyframe for position. This is our end state here and then go to the beginning. The important thing to do is actually using the pan behind tool. It does exactly what it says, it pans behind. And when you use that, and now start dragging your graphic, I'm gonna hold the shift key to restrict to the vertical axis, like this. And when I ramp pre preview now, it, it worked. And when we select the mask, you will see that the mask will actually stay exactly in place. It's compensating, the mask position is actually compensating for the motion of the graph. The important thing is two things, setting keyframes for mask path and position, not the anchor point. That's what you would think at first. It's not the anchor point that you're moving. You want to animate the mask because you want that to stay in place when the position is animated and it compensates for that movement and then use the pan behind tool, which again, does exactly what it says. It pans behind the mask. And from here, you could actually go in and then ease, you can use the F9 key, which I can't do because it's used by my screen recording software. So you can go in and right click keyframe assistant, easy ease, F9 key, and then keep tweaking this animation a little further. So it eases a little more and is just nice and smooth animation like this. And that's exactly what you want. You see that many times with text effects, with other animations and explainer videos, that's a very common thing to do and this is actually how it's done, okay? So to recap, we have our graphic, we've created the mask, we've set a keyframe for mask path and position, and then we used the pan behind tool to actually move this graphic asset, could as well be a text asset, behind the mask, and the mask will just stay in place and not move anywhere, okay? This is how it's done. I hope you learned something new. I hope you appreciate this tutorial. If you did, please consider hitting the like button. Don't forget to subscribe for future tutorials and free templates. Don't forget, I'm providing free templates every now and then. I have a new one coming up very soon. And yeah, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next tutorial.